Hey, what's up, reefers? It's your boy Kenny over here at High Tide Aquatics in Oakland, California. I just posted a picture of a wet skim at water change um, that I did, and a lot of people were asking questions how I go about doing that. Um, so today we're just going to run through a real quick video of how I do it. So let's get started. <laughs> So first and foremost, you want to have yourself a five gallon bucket. I prefer a white one so you can actually see the color of the skim coming out. Um, and have a five gallon jug of fresh salt water to add to the return chamber as your water gets down to your return pump. Um, just to keep it from sucking air and all that good stuff. I got to give a shout out to my buddy Ben Johnson at Captive Aquatic Ecosystems. And he's also the co-host of the Repeat Podcast. He's the one that turned me on to this method. So thank you, Ben. Um, so what I like to do is put the drain hose in the bucket, open up the valve, and then I will turn up my skimmer via the dial to a point where it starts to come over and starts to get a little bit wetter as opposed to dry skim it. So you just gotta keep playing with that dial a little bit and it will start to run over. You don't want it to be too wet because we want to pull out as much um, organic matter as possible. As you can see here, the bubbles are coming over just a little bit over the top of that cup. Um, and you can see the particulates, you can see the yellow and the brown in the water. Um, so doing this route, you're sucking out as much uh, undissolved organic waste as possible, um, which is going to create for a very efficient water change. You're slowly going to let that go down and drain down into the bucket, which you can see that's already getting pretty yellow. Um, and we've only done, you can see how much we've done, it's hardly any. So, you know, as this keeps going, it's just gonna get dirtier and dirtier. And um, that five gallon bucket water change is gonna be way more efficient than doing like a 10% water change on this 180 gallon system. So you want to keep coming up here and checking on this every couple minutes because you don't want it to get too wet. Like right now, it's getting a little bit too wet for me. You can see this water in this chamber is not that yellow. So I'm going to dial the skimmer back just a touch so it gets a little bit drier foam coming up towards the top um, and not that wet. So dial that back a bit. We're about 20 minutes in on this thing, all right? So we're gonna check in on the bucket here. Um, you can see there, that is some gnarly looking stuff. A um, lot of particulates, a lot of dissolved organic matter. Um, and we wanna check in on our return chamber. So as you can see here, my return chamber is getting really low. Um, so the return pumps are gonna start sucking air. So we just wanna add some salt water back to that sump. Bring your return chamber back up to level. And then adding that water is gonna make that skimmer go a little bit harder as well. Um, as you can see, we got about two and a half, about two gallons of skimming in there so far. Um, and for those of you who do regular water changes, I know your water doesn't look like that. Um, that's why doing it this way it just really gets out a lot of nasty stuff and makes it a very efficient water change. All right, guys, so this took about an hour, um, but of course, you could be doing other stuff while you're doing this. I just come by about every 10 minutes, just make sure everything's going as I want it to. Um, so I just finished up five gallons. You see my jug is empty, back into the tank. And now if you come over here and look at this bad boy, that's five gallons of some nasty, nasty stuff. So this method of water changing, um, it does take a little bit of time, um, but like I said, you can be practical with your time and do other things in your tank or around the house, do some dishes. Um, and then, yeah, 
you know, I think this way is just much more efficient than doing, say, a 20, 25 gallon water change on this system. Um, this system has a very, very heavy bio load. So I like to get out as much of that as possible. Um, and this method works great for me. So now you guys know how to do it. So I appreciate the time. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And thanks to my boy, Ben Johnson, for uh, giving me a heads up on this. Um, and that's it for today. See you guys on the next one.